Hi, welcome. I'm Keith, and what I'm talking about today is uh, a signed album's worth more. And for yourself, what's your most you would pay for a signed copy of your favourite album? Um, so I've got two albums here, and um, this is Chris Lasaic. The Baja Sessions, same music, same CD, the only difference is one is signed and one isn't. Is this one worth more? Uh, well this particular one here I got free off a friend of mine, Eddie, um, and um, this one here I just picked up quite cheaply and it was signed and everything. Got a really nice signature on it and only paid $10, $15, something like that. Um, so in in this case, um, picked that up pretty cheap, both of them. Uh, but what is a signed album worth to you? Uh, if it's a bit... I guess it's if it's an artist that you've been following for a long time and you really rate a... Uh, you probably pay quite a bit more uh, for that signature. Is it an, is it important to you if to have a signature on your album? Uh, so it's really just how much someone would, would pay. I, I guess you'd have to say. Uh, the, the, but when when you are looking for a, something that's signed, um, there is a level of trust for when you buy something off a seller uh, that it's the um, genuine signature. Uh, from the artist, but with, without a lot of proof, you know, who's to, who's to say you might be buying that uh, Jimi Hendrix signed album and um, who's to say with, with, whether it's, you know, le legit or not, you, and a lot of times you just don't know. Um, so you, there's a lot of books and albums and, and whatever with, with signed things on it and there's obviously there's got to be a, a lot of fakes out there. Um, so that's what I'm I'm talking about today, and I'd be interested to know uh, w what your thoughts are on um, just signed albums. So I've I've got quite a few signed things, um, and one way to be definitely sure if it's the the genuine artist that's that's signing your, your CD or or your album is to buy directly from the artist's website. And that's what I did. Uh, I got onto Steve Stevens' website, uh, guitarist and uh, from from the 80s and all the way up through um, with Billy Idol and uh, side projects and different things. So this is his own album. Uh, it's called Memory Crash. Uh, good album. Um, so I bought this from his website. Uh, signed. So if you're going to buy uh, a signed item from an artist, um, you know, I've seen some where there's just like, it's like they've taken two seconds and just gone uh, with a pen, uh, something like that. But just look at that signature, it's, you know, fantastic signature on there. I paid like, uh, you might think I'm crazy, but if you're a collector, you understand. I paid about $50 New Zealand for this, uh, when you factor into postage and uh, you know taxes and all, all that sort of thing, but I was happy to get this, uh, and it's a yeah, good album there, and really nice signature. Better than just like a, you know. Um, so another one uh, is this from this is from a New Zealand group called Tadpole. And just you can just order this, and it's already signed. Nothing, nothing extra or anything like that. They they just send out a copy, a, a signed copy, no extra cost. Um, so maybe if you're not into signatures, you don't want it ruining the artwork on on the cover. Um, you know, nice artwork there, and I was happy to get that. You know. But yeah, do you appreciate the signature 
Or would you rather just have the, uh, the artwork? So I do like autographed albums. I think it's just like another link to an artist that you might, that, that I really like. Um, just like a um, someone's done a painting and, and they're signing at the bottom. I think if someone's done uh, some nice music, gone, spent hours in there um, producing this album for you, it's quite nice just to have another link to that artist when, when they're signing their uh, piece of art. And another strange sort of collecting area that I've been into is I've actually bought albums that are on that New Zealand artists have actually owned themselves. Um, like from their, their metal collection, uh, local New Zealand guitarists, I've bought albums that were in their metal collection, their own personal collection. So I got this um, heathen album, Breaking the Silence, and that was, um, I bought this off Paul Martin when he was selling some of his records. Um, so that's another sort of area in collecting that I've sort of just fallen into. Um, I've also bought another album from another uh, well-known uh, Kiwi, Kiwi artist. But it's just nice to have things that they've owned, that they've spent a lot of time with and kept in their collection over years and now part of my collection. Um, so what to be sort of wary of when you are looking for signed copies of albums and things like that Um is it actually possible that the artist could have signed it? Because uh, it's like I'm saying, there, there's fakes out there. Uh, maybe the album that someone's trying to sell is a copy of an album that came out after the artist's death. So th there's there's no way in hell they could have possibly um, signed it. Um, so just you know, do some research. And it's nice to have sort of some sort of extra um, certification or, you know, witnessing of, of that signature. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe a photo of him signing it or, or some sort of sort of thing. I think, um, I don't know if they do, maybe some record shops do, but it'd be good if they if they did what a lot, a lot of um, bookshops that, have signings and things do uh, they do things like that they'll sell a, a signed book and then um, in the corner that they'll say it's a, a signed edition you know w witnessed by by the, the staff or you know something like that uh, I know there are companies that um, authenticate um, signatures and things like that but this is uh, a, a book I got by the um, uh, Polish author Andrzej Z uh, Saporowski. Um, he's the guy that writes all the Witcher books, and you know, since then there was a series and uh, video games, and you know, so I, I got a signed copy of one of his books, and yeah, it's, it's got a, a sticker thing on on there saying, "Yep, this is a signed copy from." Um, that bookshop uh, that was pretty cool um, yeah, I like those video games and I like reading those books uh, another one that I just happened to pick up I picked up a book quite a few years ago now um, just because I wanted to read it and um, this book is by Leonard Nimoy the actor director uh, it's called I am Spock yeah, Mr. Spock, there he is there, there he is there, and um, I picked up the book, and then I'm looking through it, and it's signed. Um, but like I was saying, with records and that, you might pick up an album, um, there's nothing to say that's his signature or, or, or not his signature, um, you know, so... I've got that book, but, um, you know, who knows? Don't have any way of knowing if that's his real signature or not. Uh, so that's another thing. If an artist has passed, 
then that might make their sig signature a bit more rarer. You know, he's not around to sign things anymore. And there's also a lot of artists that will not sign things or very rarely sign things. Uh, I know Paul McCartney uh, is, you know, refusing to sign things, but, you know, which I think is a bit stink. You know, people people like that just don't, the, don't sign things anymore. Um, so, the, you know, that makes it rarer if you can find that one signature or one thing that that artist has signed. Uh, so, finally, uh, the question is, uh, what is the most I would pay for a signed copy of my favourite album? Uh, it's not my favourite album, but it's probably one of the, the, the things that I would really like to get a signed copy of. And... Um, this is Bruce Springsteen's album, Born to Run. Uh, it's just got a great canvas for a signature, and he does great signatures. And, you know, signature down there or, or across there would be fantastic. Uh, I've seen on local websites and that uh, signed copies of this album come up, and they're wanting like seven or eight hundred dollars for it. Um, I'm the haven't got the, the type of money to, to spend on that. Uh, so I pay, I answer my own question. What's the most I would pay for a signed copy of one of my favourite albums? I'd probably pay 150 to 180 I guess. Um, if there was some proof, maybe a bit more. I um, really like this album. Um, I've seen also bootleg copies of this uh, album. And the, the, the signatures, like um, part of the artwork, uh, w when they've uh, pressed the, the cover, you know, there, there's a signature signature there. Uh, it's not hand signed. Uh, I've seen that before, but you know, not not interested. I'd like a proper hand signed one. Um, so I'm just putting it out there. Do signed albums mean anything to you by the artists or anything like that? Would you like to have your favourite album signed by an artist that you really admire? Um, just let me know in, in the comments. And um, just mention what the album would be and uh, roughly how much you'd be willing to pay. You know, I'm, I'm just I'm just interested out of, out of my own interest. I ask myself the question. You know, uh, could be artists from any any sort of genre, any sort of era, or whatever. But what's what's your number one that you would like and would be like the the pride of your collection? Do you have any in your in your collection already? Um, that's you know you, you're proud of. Just let me know. I'm, I'm just interested. Um, so that's my video today. I uh, hope you like that, and um, yep, um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.